Well, hello YouTube. I want to show you how to make this signature. This is my second part of the video. The first part was just telling you how to make it in general, but this time I'm actually going to go back and make this to the best of my ability. Alrighty. Make a new template or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um, 420 by 150. I'm going to take make my background color now. I'll probably make this in a different pattern than I did in my other tutorial. Just because I do things different to make it trick my brain into actually want more. Alright, then put it on radio, darker, red, a lighter red. Click towards the center, pull control, pull downward. And I do you want them in reverse, you want the wire in the middle. Like that. Alright. I'm gonna make a new layer. I don't know why exactly I'm wanting to do that right now because yeah. Um dang it. Undo. Take the sky. Move active. You wanna get a little bit of the sky into it. Just good enough to do. That looks good, right about right. There, that'll do. Now you want to take and go to this here and go overlay. You want to take, make it that layer up there, drag it. Oh, I don't know why it never works once it only starts. Go here. Let me find my grass brushes. This is the one I used. Alright, make sure that layer is selected. I'm going to go back to black. Now you don't want to go completely even. You try to get all the smooth black. I guess the illusion is different types of grass, and the wind's blowing in that direction. All right, take your image of the dude. Click that. To make sure it don't come out of shape. Let's go. It's not turning out exactly the same, but it's only get the same effect pretty much. All right, and now you want to take on top of this here, make a new layer. This in here, you want to make a new effect. Go here. Oh yeah, you want to make it red. And they orange. You can watch my other tutorial and you'll get the colors. And now you get this effect. Color, 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 color. I don't see everyone. Oh, yeah. I'm such an idiot today. Oops, I did it wrong again. Oh my god. Alright, sorry about this. Click this little button. You made the same mistake as me. What is wrong with me? Go to normal. Normal, normal, normal. Click towards that.
and it gives it more of a sunrise effect to me. Alrighty, birds. I cut them out already. Well, at least they're supposed to be cut out. How about I drag the wrong ones? In? They're invisible. We'll make them small. All this here will be in the link. You will make them about this big. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Alrighty. Well, my, if I remember right. You didn't see nothing happen there. Alrighty. Now you're starting to get an effect sort of like what I made before. Alright, so now we have all these layers. And alright, now I know what I'm about to do. Make a new layer. Behind the birds. Don't want to work there. Alright, on that layer you want to go your paintbrush there. Now you want to get some splatter brushes and I don't remember which one exactly I use ones like my computers won't they run slow I don't know why we use this one I'm gonna scale it down like that or I hate this little toy thing and I didn't learn one of my idiotic things change it to white A little bit more. Okay. Now you want to take, you want to turn the opacity down to roughly 50%. Alright. Now you want to kind of make it even. You don't want it all lopsided. Ah, oh, come on. What is wrong with you, the uh, computer? So you want to get a little bit one with a little bit more splot in it. This one will do because it'll go. I have not had no problems with this computer until I just turned it on today. And it wants to be a booty hole. I want to give it a little bit of splot like that. Now, what you don't want, you want to take here, grace tool. I wish it wasn't lagging, because it's really starting to upset me, because I don't like the computer that lags at all. I'm really angry. Alrighty. Especially whenever I just pay close to a thousand dollars for this computer and has six gigs of RAM, really good processor. It's not supposed to lag whatsoever. So, yeah. Well, anyways, now you pretty much have your effect. I have not downloaded still any of my. I still have not downloaded any of my text I want to add. So, as a final thing, like an almost thing, so add a little border to the top of it. Make that full light. Switch. But yeah, here's just a little you know or a tip going towards using text. I would show you my sig of the week, which you probably saw because I clicked that real fast. But you don't want your text to be hidden. You want to be visible and comfortable to the eye. So you want to get something that goes with the flow of the image. So something like this here would be more of a subtle image. Nothing really bright, but enough to stand out. And I, if I was you, I would put not down here in the corner because I'd destroy this area. You want it to be here, or roughly here. Okay. You want it to blend in, but you want it to go with the image. So this would probably be the best place, or right here. Because this is bright, this is the dark area. One of them two, you want it kind of a medium effect. But yeah, I always make a border too. Just simply take that, drag it down. With little things like that, brings out your signature to be 
that much more. Um, well, I guess this is what they call a victor or something. I really like this type of SIG. And I'm just start doing it. All the links to everything besides the brushes and yeah, just the brushes will be into the sidebar. I'll do all that for you. And I hope you like this tutorial and great and all that. Comment if you really like it, etc. etc. Um, hopefully, I'll make some more soon and go on out.